So here I am, standing in the rain, getting wet, about to do a walking tour of Eastwood Park, Houston, Texas, just east of downtown. So stick with me. It's raining. I'm all wet, but who cares? Let these vehicles get by me. So stay with me. Eastwood Park is one of the oldest parks in the city of Houston. Like I said, it's just east of downtown. This used to be a tennis court, but they converted it into a soccer field. It's very, uh, they spent a lot of money, the city did, on doing the remodel here on this soccer field. What's nice about this park, it has a community center which in the past has held many events. You can rent the space out. It's very roomy inside. Doors are locked so I can't go in. And as you can see, there's a lot of trees for a nice shade for a hot summer day. And back there is Harrisburg. But that's one of the nice things about this is that you've got all this right here and you can rent for just minimum dollars. Uh, here's, I'm on the back end of the uh, community center. Got a mural here that's, I don't know the artist, but it's been, it's been here for a long time. And it also has a kind of a big old court, courtyard on the other side of some swings and stuff for the kids. COVID did a real number on this park. It's been closed pretty much the whole COVID time. Uh, I've seen various activities. Uh, the dance, Aztec dancers have seen uh, Golden Glove, Golden, was it Golden Glove boxing, and of course the basketball courts over there. They have uh, three on three. Uh, before COVID, this is a very family oriented. If I haven't already said that, uh, park. Like I said, we're just east of downtown, about five minutes away. You got the light rail over here that you can come in and out of downtown real easy. So. Uh, let's continue this uh, tour, this walking tour. And as we continue, I'm over here under the canopy. Uh, when COVID hit, they took these basketball courts down, the goal poles, not the goal poles, but this, the rims themselves, because of they shut down all these parks. Unfortunately, what has become of this area, uh, it's become homeless where they camp out. And as you can see, there's a couple of homeless people back over here that want to get them on film. But, uh, you know, that's some of the things that have happened in this city where COVID has hit us. Complete shutdown. One of the nice things about this park, it's got playground for the little ones. While you're attending to the barbecue pit, You've got uh, where well, the kids can come and play on the swing sets and stuff like that. I said it's a nice park. Unfortunately, I believe it's turned into kind of a uh, drug infested trafficking park, I guess you could say. Can't be 100% sure, but, uh, you know, it's things like that happen. We're going to continue on. One of the things you'll see on any given day, minus the rain, it's got a, their own skateboard park. A lot of youngsters, a lot of kids come out here and get on their skateboard and have a good time. And That's the nice thing about it, you know? It's very few, one of the very few skateboard parks in this city. And downtown is just beyond those trees there. So, yeah. It works. What's nice about this park, it has about a quarter mile track, as you can see. And it's pretty good pavement. Not a lot of potholes like the city has, but they fixed it up real nice. You come out here and jog, run, walk your dogs, talk to your girlfriend, talk to your boyfriend, walk together. It's real nice. It's one of the things that uh, if you're stressed out or had a long day at the office, come over here and work out. It's pretty cool. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to talk over this bell. This is a railroad track that leads into the chip channel. Houston is a port city, and I believe it's like the eighth or ninth largest port in the world, along with the refineries that uh, they have out in Deer Park and Pasadena and beyond. One of the problems they have with this, and I'm glad this is here, um, I'm not glad actually, but they have a lot of problems. This train has been here probably about three hours. It's hard to cross over from, from east to west. Uh, there are a lot of people that walk in this neighborhood. And they've got some bad, bad publicity last week. But as you can see, I don't know who owns the rail line. So I'm not even going to try to attempt that. But they got some bad publicity. Because it just sits here. Emergency vehicles. There's a, there's a fire station down the street. Um... And as you can see, it's just sitting here. And it'll sit here probably for half the day. Emergency vehicles try to cross over and they can't. This is probably trains about a mile long. And this has been a continuing, continuous, or well, you know what I'm saying. It's just been a problem. And it just, it just continues and continues. And they don't care. You know, this is a heavily Hispanic neighborhood. Uh, not a lot of people, well, you know, there's some that don't have cars, so they rely on their feet. They walk and they have to cross this. And they crawl under, they crawl between. And it's dangerous, you know, it's dangerous. And they don't seem to care. Of course, it's federal, so I'm surprised the cop hasn't come by here to try to get me off the tracks. We're gonna move on. <laughs> Before I forget, one of the big perks about the city in this park, they got a swimming pool, public swimming pool. Uh, usually in the summertime, they're open, full of kids. And they're free. It's run by the city. That's the nice thing. The kids can come over here and cool off. But with COVID and people, half of America, not getting vaccinated, you know, we're, we're stuck. But, you know, what can we do? You know? But pretty much concludes my tour here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to try to post a video once a week on Saturday. And I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to get my stuff out there. It's not easy, but, you know, got to keep trying. Got to stay positive. And on that note, you guys have a good day, good weekend. And thank you for watching this video. Y'all have a good day.